Welcome back to the Meta Instincts channel. Have you guys watched The Boys? Is an American superhero television series. They brought some fun to Last Fortress from the collaboration. We will do some basic introduction to this event and cover the lineup concept if we get a hand on the new heroes. According to the official sneak peek, we know that three heroes will be joining Last Fortress. They are Starlight, Huey, and Butcher. Homelander, the leader of the seven and one of the most powerful superheroes of Vought American, isn't on the hero list. But he appears in the first trailer. He isn't a good guy or bad. He kills innocent civilians during the mission and acts as he likes. Therefore, he kills Andrew, the Grey Last Fortress hero, and the zombies with his laser eyes during the appearance. Pity Andrew. Do you think the developer will add Homelander to the hero list? If yes, he must be an overpowered hero. Events. Currently, we have three objects in the boys event. First, we can get Starlight from the Follow Starlight after 8 login days. But don't be excited about it because one shard doesn't bring you to anyway. We need 17 shards to ascend a first gen hero to Mystic 3 stars, and it is a long way to go. Moreover, you will need special hero medals to level up your hero skills. We believe they all cost money to buy. We hope they don't cost like Palmer and Soros because that will only benefit the minority of players in the game. The second object is to aid the Homelander in fighting zombies. We can get up to 90 Vought badges per day. We can use the badges to buy things in the exchange, the third object in the event. We can buy extra badges to get more items. But, it is not worth spending the total price on the exchange. For instance 20 superchargers cost 2000 badges from the exchange. We can buy 2000 badges at $100 and get the superchargers. However, there are better deals than $100 for 20 superchargers. That will be worth the money if you already have 1000 badges and spend $50 to get 20 superchargers. We can still get free items from the exchange. Make sure to grab all daily rewards from aiding the Homelander fight. Starlight. Starlight is a young superhero and she isn't a strong hero in the series. Looking at her skills, she is a supporting hero more than a damage output hero. Her skill attack is single targeting, dealing 100% attack damage. 100% attack damage on a single target doesn't look impressive. She has up to 45% attack damage bonus from her skills, but we are unsure if it would make her powerful. We got to test it now. Although her damage is low, she significantly reduces the opponent's damage mitigation by up to 35%. She also improved the ally's damage mitigation and bonus. It gives a significant advantage to the damage output heroes, making them kill the opponent more quickly. It could be a pain for the slow lineup because high damage mitigation might not work. We foresee the fast attack lineup dominating the battle again soon. If you have yet to learn about the fast attack lineup, please watch this video from the link in the description. Unlike the advanced elite hero, Starlight appears in orange. It is the same as the first gen hero, such as Palmer and Soros. Do they cost $7,000 per max hero again? We have asked Jimmy about it, but he keeps it secret until the full release of the hero. Therefore, we can only look forward to the release. You can't miss this deal. Try Paxify for free and gain access to insane first deposit bonuses. Thousands of gamers have unlocked epic savings, overpowering the competition with a fraction of the cost. New users can try Paxify service for free with a $4.99 bundle. Zero cost, zero risk. And that's not all. Paxify offers incredible first deposit bonuses. Look at this fantastic offer, you can get up to $410 in bonuses. Click the link in the description to try Paxify for free today. But remember, this is a time limited offer. Don't let this opportunity pass you by, get it today. Let's get back to the lineup concept. There are many possibilities, and we can only suggest based on the current information. We suggest wielding her with a fast attack lineup because if your opponent is using her with a faster speed, you are probably losing the battle. Moreover, the slow lineup will lose its advantage to Starlight's damage mitigation reduction buff. Let's talk about a few fundamentals we need to be aware of. First, Starlight's damage mitigation reduction buff only lasted one round. We must position her effectively to ensure other damage output heroes cast their skill in the same round. Super core gear could mess up the sequence, making your hero cast skill earlier. If your damage output heroes miss the debuff, you lose the advantages. Removing the super core gear could be a better way to control the sequence. Next, the Starlight must be the first attacker. 
if she is the first gen hero, she will have a higher look than other heroes. For instance, Zoros has a higher look than Haytex at max level and quality. Therefore, if we set her correctly, she should be the first to attack. We must ensure she has the highest look among all heroes. Otherwise, she will waste her skill if she casts it last. Hero Combo As the previous benchmarking video mentioned, we recommend choosing the high damage group targeting heroes. Atex is the top choice, followed by Elaine Chu, Benson, Earl, Macklin, and Galan. Eva will need more setup because her skill requires a trigger. If we miss the trigger, we miss the debuff. We prefer the special tanker for this lineup. For instance, the solid tanker with high damage mitigation might not work against Starlight's debuff. Therefore, choosing a special tanker could be worth more. Ricardo and Mira are good choices. However, it depends on the situation. We don't have a combo recommendation because we have yet to test them. Our initial thought was Starlight with Haytex, Benson, Mira, and Elaine. We are unsure if Starlight would have the faction bonus like Palmer. If she does, they will form a 3-2 faction lineup. Otherwise, we would need to make changes. Huey and Butcher Huey and Butcher are not superheroes in the television series. They get the superhero power by injecting the Temp V serum. What's this? It's Temp V. One shot makes you a soup for 24 hours. Butcher gains a similar power as the Homelander except for the flying capability. From the sneak peek, we noted that Butcher should be a tanker. He has damage mitigation skills that enhance himself and his teammates. His third skill enhances the damage bonus of all allies. He will be a super tanker and a counter to Starlight. Yui is relatively weak in the television series but not in Last Fortress. I help you because I always have to be the weak one. He's a damage output hero with a back row targeting skill. He is attacking two back row heroes with his skill. It looks like he is similar to Marlin but with a better buff. His last skill resembles the Resolute effect. It saves him from the first fatal attack and increases his attack damage. Will the effect stack if we equip him with the Resolute gear? We got to check it out. The initial observation shows that the boy's family is a good faction. They could overpower the old heroes. We are looking forward to the release. We hope the initial info is helpful, and we will continue to make the boy's content if we receive more insight. Please share it with your members and grow together. I'm Alan from Meta Instincts. See you soon.